Hiya. It's um, Elton here at Betty Tiger's Hair Salon. Um, I wanted to share an idea um, with you, which um, you might consider passing it on if you agree with it. Uh, I went to the football match last Saturday to see Sheffield Wednesday play um, against Charlton Athletic. Um, before the match, the Charlton players um, took the knee as a normal gesture uh, that's associated with Black Lives Matter. Uh, but some football teams have considered of phasing it out. I think they're generally thinking about uh, not doing so much of the bowing the knee anymore sort of thing. Uh, and I think a lot of uh, there's a lot of people feel like it, it's happened enough and they've made the point. And... Um, but I did have an idea that if indeed they are going to uh, uh, stop bowing the knee, then there's potentially another um, thing they could do before the match to support um, not only black people, but other people who are suffering injustice these days. Um, and basically those people are people who are modern day slaves, um, either fooled into going to certain countries and and once they're there, they have to work and not necessarily get much pay and that kind of thing. And um, and people aren't totally sure that the stadiums in the um, Qatar, where they're going to have the next Football World Cup, uh, were made with, um, with constructed the construction work workers. Uh, people sometimes are questioning whether the construction workers were rewarded as much as it could be, um, you know, fairly. Um, treat other people like you want to be treated. So um, so there's been a bit of a questioning about that, uh, considering the World Cup brings in millions and millions of pounds. Uh, some of the the workers, if they uh, feel they've got to um, help there, um, because otherwise they'll be in a, a problem with their... Um, liberty and that kind of thing so it did think me about uh, because there is some slavery going on all over the world um, that it might be time to move on um, in a sensitive way from black lives matter still remembering it obviously because black lives do matter as do other uh, human lives matter and well and animal lives as well and plant lives as well um and but remember people at the moment who are, for instance, like the Dalit uh, sect in India, who work for very little money and they end up with really poor jobs. Um, a lot of them, uh, quite often, cleaning up human waste, uh, and sometimes not even being paid for it. it. They just feel it's their role because they're the lowest caste. So I thought that potentially, as footballers and uh, different people have of taking the knee and done Black Lives Matter, but now I'm moving on to it, rather than a period of sort of doing nothing, I thought of a new symbol which would be uh, appropriate to remember people who were undergoing, um, well, basically enslaved, uh, by people who were taking financial and other advantage of them. And the, the symbol I thought about doing was basically putting your two wrists together. And the... The idea of the wrist being put together is though like a, somebody wearing handcuffs, you'd been bound and that um, you weren't free to live your life as you how you would do if you were free. So um, I've sent a couple of messages. I thought they could possibly consider doing it at the Sheffield next Sheffield Wednesday match. Uh, but, you know, the more people, the better and uh, the sooner it gets done, the better. But Unless you've got a better idea, I think this would be a good idea to remember people who are under bondage at the moment, who are not free to um, move around, etc., and and be paid and do a regular job, but they've been been abused basically, um, or not paid enough anyway. So, and the, that's the idea that basically they're modern day slaves, which I'm sure. If you contact people like um, Amnesty International, they'll verify, if you just look it up on the internet, that these days there are a lot of uh, modern-day slaves. So, anyway, if you think the idea is a good idea, just pass it on to all and sundry, 
and uh, try and um, just see where it'll go. But that's the basic idea, um, putting your, your wrist together and uh, as though they were wearing a set of handcuffs, uh, you know, imaginary handcuffs, but uh, just to see if um, it might start another movement, which a lot of people uh, would agree with and hopefully um, show some light into dark corners in the world. Thanks for watching then. All the best.